Welcome to our killer reveal party, where we will reveal Bunny's killer. It's also a killer party simultaneously. Oh, okay, so we were both right. Yes. Yes. A time. Isn't this fun? Eat shit. Maybe I can donate her to, like, an orphanage. I'm not so sure she should be around children. <sighs> Never mind. It's, it's stupid. What? No, it's, it's... I shouldn't have even opened my tiny mouth. It's very porny. A naked man wrapped around a woman's leg very balls forward. And who are you supposed to be? Rocky Zero? Gray White Dope? Raging Bullshitter? Oh, hello, Teddy. Oliver. Where the hell is the fucking cake? The cake is on its way, but this was very last minute, and this is not about the cake. Ah, uh, they chanced on the cake. <sighs> I'm leaving. Okay, I don't care about any of this. I just wanted this naked painting of Charles. This isn't me. Then I don't want it. Get it out of my Sting's apartment. Well, can I at least ride down with you? You have no place in here. Glasses, white, nosy, ten cases. Yeah. Okay, all right. I shouldn't have left it on the bed, but it was cashmere. We don't pee on things just because they're soft. What? Jeez, Oliver, what was that? I call it the Mariah. It's a, a pound of glitter, a jar of rubber cement, and, and just a, a nugget of C4. Start sipping. It's medicinal, nutritional, and lightly alcoholic. Look at you. Look at you. You dusty, old, dried up, dribble dick. You got no fucking idea how much trouble you're in, do you? It's not a cult, right? Just bringing pains. I'm just gonna need to hear you say that it's not a cult. Mm -hmm. Just. How can we get sent to the crumble and cave like a crumbling cave. A washed up television cop whose blurred sense of fact and fiction led him into a tangled romance with the last Arconia murderer and whose father spent the latter years of his life in and out of prison. How do you know that? I'm Cindy Canning, bitch. And we were saying goodbye and we were just gonna kiss each other on the cheeks, but we missed and we were on the lips and we had had a few eggnogs, so we kind of got into it and then we just stayed there and uh, sloshed around a little bit, and that's not so bad, right? I'll never forget all that you taught me. The anatomy of your bassoon, the lung joint, the butt joint, the crook. It gets pretty porny. Doing anything for you? Oh, yeah. Well, then I'll continue. Hypothetically, if I sent my cat to live with Agnes from the library for a while and got an air purifier and vacuumed my entire apartment and lint rolled all of my sweaters twice, like I did to this one. It's very nice. Well, thank you. It's new. I thought he was gone, but... I want soup! <sighs> you ungrateful bitch. You ungrateful, power-hungry, baby, bumpy bitch. Does she have a temper? Toss the odd stapler from time to time? Of course. Pick the stapler up off the ground and toss it again until it hits you in the face. Show me a genius who doesn't toss the odd stapler and then pick it up again and then toss it again. But it's called paying your dues. So, it is so beyond that Charles is friends with you. I mean, you are literally one of the coolest people on the internet right now. Seriously, Ugh. Bloody Mabel is like my favorite thing to happen since those baby witches tried to hex the moon. They tore. You know, for a while I thought you were the killer because Tim was behind on his building fees and I distrust women in positions of power. She's got such a maternal glow. <laughs> Funny. I look at her and I think of Rosemary's baby. If Rosemary were a hedge fund manager and couldn't wait to carry the devil's child. Exactly. Exactly. I want to go full prestige. I've been doing really gritty stuff. My last project, I, I shit myself on a moped while crashing through a plate glass window. And not as a joke. Just remember not to tell your mother about what we did today. Why doesn't mom want you to be an actor? Because she's a dream killer, son. And please, I beg of you, just be cool. Hey. Who's cooler than me? Everyone. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
God, what is that? Look what we just found behind the, the toilet. In the Behind ceiling. the toilet. After backstabbing Bunny, I think she might have front stabbed her too. She will cut a bitch. Because sometimes I'm flipping through the TV and I'm thinking, hey, where are all the cop shows? <laughs> and I only real fainted once. The other times were acting. I mean, did he even want to be an actor? Did he really want to live in this building? Is that a shadow? Or a tiny little bit of his ball? And I'll thank you to stay out of this. Oh, I just got bunny. Ooh. Wow, already looking foxy. <laughs> Ooh. Wow, bunny. Yeah, you know, it's actually quite fetching. Huh? <laughs> I was at Woodstock, you know. Oh, God. And we've got her. The jig is up, Nina. Time to come clean. Oh, my God. I need Jared. It's not getting last minute baby things. Yeah, he can't save you. No one can save you now. You feel bad? Well, you should. Spill it. Spill it. <gasps> oh, oh my God. Oh, oh, my God. Is this about the predisposition to prostate cancer? Dr. Kipper said it's no big deal. You just put your finger up there twice a year and then you phone someone you're fond of. No. How can you pretend you don't love this? The way we connect when we theorize and speculate. It's just like how we used to go back and forth about the last case. You mean the murder you committed? I don't get hung up on the details. It's the feelings that matter. Oh, God, guys. She's still out there. Really? The great Cinda Canning is going to come waltzing in to save another case, huh? No. Absolutely not. Boo! <laughs> I don't think you want to disrespect the wishes of the person people think you murdered. Hey! Hey! I know who did it. 